I mean, I do remember when Dion Phaneuf got traded to, you know, Toronto, everyone was like, whoa, that's kind of a big deal, right? He came into the locker room first day and he was just chatty and kind of knew everybody already. He'd probably done his homework a little bit and turned some tunes on and just started getting it going and was guy. just, uh, yeah. you know, he just wanted to really insert himself into the lineup and, and, and kind of create that uh, that environment right off the bat. And it ended up being a good thing. And I think he was a, a good player for the Leafs for quite a while. So um, not many stories of where you just can't believe what, what happened. Usually the, the GM isn't that out of touch on what the team needs. But uh, it's always different when you mix it up, man, especially when there's a couple new guys coming into the locker room. It's a total reset as far as how things operate in the locker room and everything else. So there's a bit of risk like that if you are firing, you know, in, in a good way already and before you make that trade. Believe it or not, I wasn't as big a uh, FNUF hater as you probably could have thought when he came over from Calgary to the Maple Leafs, but I couldn't get over. People were just stroking this guy off for his DJ work in the room. Like, that's all everybody talked about for three weeks, how he came in the room, he turned on the boom bops, he played his music. Like, was there any specialty to the music he played that made him so amazing? No, that was weird because <laughs> it's funny because I even said it because I think I remember that, but I just remember, like, what's this guy going to be like? And yeah. he didn't come on too strong, which he can do. He can come on too strong. Um, Play and he piano didn't, but he bar. wasn't just – yeah, he didn't uh, – he wasn't just riding the uh, the quiet train into, uh, you know, yeah. chilling out and feeling everybody out. He came in and, like, said, I'm here. Let's get this done. I'm on board. And Berkey was just loving him. And I think it was Berkey that said he turned on the music, and then everyone just started exactly. thinking that was, like, the greatest thing, <laughs> like, big fucking deal. But I think that's just in my head from hearing that so many times from the media too. No, it's exactly what I'm saying. Like that's all I recall from that time frame when they picked up Dion Phaneuf. We knew he was captain because he turned the music on when he walked into the room. Like I think I know guys who are like death players in the league that would do that now. You know? Yeah, probably some rookie would probably walk up and grab it and uh, start cranking some uh, Swedish techno or something because things have changed in the locker room from what I hear. But uh, <laughs> no, it's good for him to come in and just uh, establish himself as a as a guy and he was a big presence in the locker room and i think he started that right off the bat and i think the i think the gms and the powers that be at the time really loved that